So welcome everyone to the Growing Up Greek podcast. It's me, your host KV, Kostadinos Vlachos, and with me I have Mr. Apagorevete, aka Tony Karioris, and welcome to the show. So welcome back guys. This is the second episode. Um, we're very happy to be here with you, and believe me, today I'm gonna push Tony, uh, to speak more Greek, because some of you mentioned that, come on guys, speak more Greek. So, okay guys, we will speak more Greek. Θα μιλήσουμε ελληνικά. Fair enough. Εντάξει, μιλάμε ελληνικά σήμερα. Ωραία, μιλάμε ελληνικά και θέλω να πω κάτι. I want to say something. When you say Greece in the States, in general, okay, Uh, outside of the Greek community, uh, one of the very actually you can tell me which is uh, one of the very first things that come to their mind when they hear about Greece. Uh, in you general, say, what, someone who's not Greek. What's the first thing that comes to mind? No, yeah, no, he, then in Elinas, he's not Greek. Right. Then in Elinas. I would say probably feta cheese, ouzo, <sighs> and Greek gods. Uh. <laughs> That that's a nice um, that's a nice combo. It is. It uh, is. So the truth is that many people uh, relate Greece. Okay, it's the history, it's the Parthenon, it's the, the mythology and everything. But I think a very 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 important thing is the food. Mm-hmm. And today we will talk more about the food, or as we say in Greek, φαγητό. Ελληνικό φαγητό. Ελληνικό φαγητό, both words start with f, the sound for φαγητό, food, so that's a nice way to remember, φαγητό. Um, και θα μιλήσουμε για διάφορα φαγητά, ε, συνταγές, και τώρα πλησιάζουμε στο Πάσχα. Έχουμε νηστεία, as we say in Greek, νηστεία, fasting. Τόνι, νηστεύεις. Uh, δεν μπορώ να σου πω. Isn't that the it's correct a, way? It's a top secret. Why? Καλά το είπες. Σωστά το είπες. No, meaning correct. Uh, you're not supposed to tell people, right? If you're doing it. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. that. Yeah, that's what I've always been taught. Oh man, no! Oh God, that was that. That was hard. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm going to teach you some things today, too. Oh, okay. So, if you're fasting, you're not supposed... I was always told that if you're telling people, then you're defeating the purpose. Because you just... Yeah. All you're doing... Yeah. It's a private... It's a private uh, sacrifice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, it's top classified. Tony Cariotis cannot share if she fasts or not. I Yep. I can tell you, if you ask me. All right, go ahead. I won't ask you, but you can tell me. Ε, στην Ελλάδα, οι περισσότεροι νέοι άνθρωποι νηστεύουν λίγο και κυρίως την Μεγάλη Εβδομάδα. Μεγάλη Δευτέρα, Μεγάλη Τρίτη, Μεγάλη ε, Δευτέρα, ναι. Τρίτη, Τάρτα, είναι Παρασκευή. Ε, και είναι η Κυριακή ναι. Ανάσταση. <laughs> ε, φέτος, this year, φέτος, ε, θα προσπαθήσω να νηστεύσω 40 μέρες. Um, and, you know, let's say a few things about the Orthodox fasting. What do you say? Let's do it. So, we, uh, the Orthodox Christians, um, in a nutshell, I can say that we become vegans <laughs> when it's about the, uh, the fasting period. So, for 47 days, Sarakosti plus Mechali Abdomada, Nistevume, we are fasting, and uh-huh. what we are not allowed to eat uh, is kreas, meat, fish, sorry, with some exceptions, zoika uh, proyoda, animal products like yaourti, vutiro, um, gala, and 
And these are the main things that you're not allowed to eat. Or, as Tony says, Απαγορεύεται να φάμε αυτά τα φαγητά. We're not allowed to eat those. Uh, that's why I say that we become like vegans. Τι uh, επιτρέπεται να φάμε, what is allowed to eat, um, carbohydrates, most of the times, macaronia, Ma- pasta, macaronades, mm-hmm. lachanica, fruta, χυμούς, um, λάδι, ελιές, και το αγαπημένο μου, Τόνι, δεν ξέρω αν το ξέρεις, ταχίνι. Ξέρω, ξέρω. Σου αρέσει το ταχίνι? Ναι, ναι. For me, I like, I like all kinds of food. But I've never come into anything I don't like. You You're not selective. Like, You're not selective. No, you have to have a lucky laugh to the chimona. Παιδιά, πριν ξεκινήσουμε το podcast, μου είπε ότι έχει βάλει κιλά. Τόνι, δεν έχεις βάλει κιλά. Έχεις βάλει ομορφιά. Ναι, no, ξέρω πώς να το κρύβω. <laughs> Έξυπνε, Τόνι. Ναι. <laughs> ε, οπότε, είδαμε τι επιτρέπεται να φάμε what we're allowed, τι δεν επιτρέπεται, τι απαγορεύεται ε, σε αυτό το διάστημα. Νομίζω ότι είναι υγιεινό. Νομίζω ότι είναι υγιεινό. I think it's healthy. Uh, at least for some time to stop it is. eating meat. No, it, it definitely is. I've always, every time that I've done it, I've always felt better. I've always lost weight. I've always got more fit, athletic, been able to run better, been able to breathe better. It, it's definitely better for humans not to eat meat, but it's... It's tasty, so we just say we're going to eat it. Guys, this is not a sponsored podcast. We are not getting no, paid by not. any uh, vegetable uh, or um, no, uh, meat-free <laughs> products. Or it's not a health show either. But <laughs> I'm that? just saying, I, 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 I eat souvlaki, I eat my meats, I eat pastizio, I eat this, I eat that. But mm-hmm. I do know that if I stopped, I will be in a better place. I will feel better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Και εγώ το ίδιο, συμφωνώ μαζί σου και να σου πω ότι ζω τη στιγμή που θα βγει vegan γύρος. Δηλαδή θα είναι γύρος και θα είναι, ε, δεν θα έχει κρέας. Ε, πλάκα, πλάκα κάνω. Ε, νομίζω ότι δεν θα αρέσει σε πολλούς Έλληνες ο vegan γύρος. Either you do it or you, know, you, or you, don't, or you don't do it. So, There's always falafel uh, here, uh, Peters, mm-hmm. but we can Uh, falafel, so people out there, mm-hmm. uh, so people out there, don't you dare create a, a vegetarian gyros, okay? Uh, to be honest, I've tried some recipes with mushrooms, manitaria, with you, with the, the right seasoning. You try to imitate the meat flavor, but okay, I didn't like it. Anyway. So a pita, a pita with mushroom instead of meat in it. Μπράβο, ακριβώς, ακριβώς. Έχει το μανιτάρι σε μία σως με κάρι, γιαούρτι, αλάτι, πιπέρι, a lot of seasoning and the mushrooms absorb the the, the taste. But anyway, it is μανιτάρι, είναι μανιτάρι. Before we go in the famous Greek dishes, we will going to talk about it a lot. I want you to share your experience as a, um, a, a Greek Orthodox living in Boston. Um, in that time of the year, in the, in the fasting period, Printo Pascha, before the Easter, um, what are your um, memories from cooking, spe- special dishes perhaps in your family or whatever? Uh, I mean, just the process in general, starting from the 40 days, we have the days that we go to, we have church, we have, then we have Holy Week. I've always remembered um, the years that I wouldn't do a fast, at least on Holy Week, I got to do either Wednesday and Friday or the whole week. I always just ask my mom growing up, all right, she'd be like, oh, today you can't, today you can't, I don't know, you can't, you can't even listen to music on the way to school because it's Good Friday. Um, that stuff I oh. remember growing up. Yeah, okay. nothing fun on Friday, on Good Friday. I was uh, when I was young. 
on Good Friday, we couldn't do anything fun. Yeah, it's um, interesting because I, I see that sometimes uh, the Greeks in uh, the States are more hardcore in those issues than in Greece, than yeah. people in Greece. For sure. Interesting. Um, interesting. And then we'd have like Wednesday morning before school, we'd go for uh, the lavi. Um, mm -hmm. Go to just go to the church literally for five minutes. Go in, get your lavi, go to school. Every good, big, uh, every Holy Week Wednesday would be that. We'd have a Thursday night in church. We'd have Friday, uh, and then we'd go right for the midnight um, uh, service the night on Saturday night. And we go home, the parents would eat their margarita, we would just break eggs and have, I don't know, some like... Stop, 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 stop. Yeah? Stop, yeah. stop. Ti ine i margarita. Pame. In a few words. Guts? <laughs> All right, okay. Other goats, guts. Yeah, ne? Mm -hmm. So stop. Edostia, edera, stomachi, whatever yeah, so is inside the animal. Yeah. For those listening that don't know what margarita is, it's literally a soup made out of the intestines from the goats. Um, yeah, with, with a little bit of greens. Yeah, yeah, there's some seasoning and some flavors, but it's disgusting. Let's let's just make that. Let, it's disgusting. Come on. I can't. Okay. I've never... Okay, actually, okay. All right, you know what? No, no, no. Hold on. I've never tasted it, so I can't say it's disgusting. But I know what the kitchen smells like when there's margarita in the kitchen. So mm -hmm. that alone just tells me, don't eat it. But everyone I know loves it. Maria loves it. My friend, everyone loves it. Mm -hmm. I, just growing up, the smell scared me. So we would just have our own little table with like some chicken or some, uh, some lamb, some eggs, uh, <laughs> potatoes, patatas to furno. But yeah, so that would be... I couldn't I, agree I, more with you. I couldn't agree more with you. I hate Margarita, but I, I want to teach you an expression. What what can we say if we really hate something? For example, you want to say like, oh, it discuss, Margarita discusses me. Or it's disgusting. What do we say? What's the Greek word? Is yeah, what can we say? What what expression uh, can we say if we, if we hate, if we are blah, like, uh, Let me think. Like, blah, blah. What can we say? Have you seen this meme which say, Ooh, brother, ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very... Um, what's that, what's that, brother? I don't know the Greek word, do I? Maybe I don't. Okay, you can say, Sihenome na... Sihenome na tro magiritza. Sihenome na... Yeah, yeah, no, I know Sihenome, but I always looked at Sihenome as like... Yeah, I guess it is that. I'm like, I'm a little disgusted by it. I'm a little, not afraid, but like, yeah, I guess disgusted. Yeah. No, I know the word. Mm -hmm. I've used, I use it. I just didn't mm -hmm. think of it as like the way you explain it. In this context. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, mm -hmm. so, so you can say, yes. Si chenome ti magirica. Si chenome ti magirica. Si chenome. Si chenome. Wow. Uh, for the people that watch us, um, I have our word for today, which is pinao. Okay. Um, in Greek, we, we write P, Epsilon, Yota, Ni, Alpha, Omega, pinao, which means I'm hungry. You can use it. So, so far, pinao, ke si <laughs> yeah. uh, Okay, go on. Um, then it would go like... Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. I, I, something else. The yeah. purpose of Magiritsa is this, guys. We are fasting for 40 days, okay? And we want something to prepare our stomach for eating meat again. So it is a soup, organ soup. And the purpose, I think, is that we get back on track eating meat. That is the, the thing of why we eat it. So we're not like cannibals or we don't... We are eating intestines only. This is the purpose. Uh, but to be honest, I know very few people that eat and enjoy eating margarita. I am not one of those. Tony is not one of those, but I'm just mentioning. Okay, mentioning. It's disgusting for those listening. It's disgusting. <laughs> uh, so yeah, after church Saturday night, we'd come home, like I said, one, two o'clock. 
depending on how late uh, the liturgy goes for communion, especially if you want to stay for communion. I know 95% of the church empties out at like 12.03, 12.05. And then if you want to stay, you have any seat in the room. But before 12 o'clock, everyone shows up 11.50, 11.55, and you're standing outside the church because there's no seats available. Uh, so then we'd go home, break some eggs, parents would eat margarita, we'd eat something else. Next day, family gatherings, you're going to either an aunt or uncle's, or if you're hosting it, everyone's coming to the house. And then Monday comes around, and the summer you're, starts. And you're, and, you're, and you're digesting what you eat. Uh, you're digesting, and you know the summer is a few days away. And, and then you wait till next March or April for the next 40 days. Uh, it's really interesting because if you ask me what we do in Greece, man, it's exactly the same. What you describe, <laughs> exactly the same. This is the the magic happening. Exactly the same. As we go a little bit to Pascha, as I said, the Pascha, we can make an episode on the Pascha. If you like it, we can devote one episode for Pascha alone. If you like it, we can devote one episode for Pascha alone. Πάμε λίγο σε διάσημα ελληνικά φαγητά. Διάσημα ελληνικά φαγητά. Famous Greek foods. Uh, let's start with the savory ones. Να ξεκινήσουμε με τα αλμυρά φαγητά. Ε, τι φαγητά θα λέγαμε είναι γνωστά. Uh, just, we're not talking fasting right now. Any Greek food, right? No, 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 no. We left fast behind. We left Pascha yeah. behind. Let's go right, so in general. Talking... Okay, if we're talking, this is this is this is where the kila came in. This is where this no. is why I have my pounds. Okay, pesmas pesmas posechtis es to to somasu. Tell us how you build your body. All right, a lot of Greek food. For anyone that says I go to Greece and I lose weight, that's a lie. I I can't lose weight in Greece. No, because you know what? I, I figured it out why. Everyone's like, oh well, you go swimming, you go this, you go that. I don't. Go, I go to the beach, but I don't go swimming. I go in the water. I get wet. I fall in the water. I stay in the shallow end. I'm just resting in the water. And then I get out and I tan. And then I do the same thing. I'm not the type that just goes out far, 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 just swims for like a half hour. I'm on vacation. <laughs> I, I plop in the water. I just, I fall in. My toes are on the ground. I'm doing a little bit of this. I'm talking to whoever's near me. I go out. I order my Fredo. I'll get some souvlaki. I'll get some food. Once in a while, I'll yeah, make some the same. salad. Set a fruit salad so here. I can feel a little healthy with myself. Uh, but then it's followed so, up with souvlaki. But I'll get I'll get to what you asked first of how I put the kilao, the types of Greek food. Yeah. All right. So when I'm back in Boston, um, and I'm like either because my my mother lives really close to our house. She's literally like a two minute drive. So typical even, Greek, typical Greek. Even after we, Greek. I moved out. It's easy to still eat mom's food because she's going to make the food and she's going to drop it off. Even if I'm not home, she'll say, hey, I dropped off food. So there's, you have a cazzarola full of macaronada waiting for you. Or you have a, 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 a pot full of this waiting for you. So it's yeah, either yeah. macaroni and kima, um, patatas of food no me cotopulo. Giro, pitas, I only eat. I mean, I don't make those at home. So that's either when I'm in Greece or if I'm in the city and I find like a Yiradiko Greek, Greek shop, I'll try to, you know, uh, what other Greek foods come to mind? We have a couple. Yeah, we have, I'd say like two good ones. Um, mm. And that, the other issue is we can't even have a good Khoryatiki in the winter because our tomatoes are awful in the winter. Really bad. Mm -hmm. Um, so occasionally that, uh, what else do I have? You'll get the occasional, um, fasolada, fagues, which yeah, they're good, but they're not on the top of my list. Uh, mm -hmm. what's another one that I like? Um, creas with like green beans and potatoes. That's a good, good meal. Uh, what's another? Fasolakia, right? Fasolakia. Yeah, Fasolakia with, with meat. And, and, and some potatoes. Uh, Maria likes to make araka. Arakas. Me creas y choris. She does it without. Mm. Uh, that's tasty. 
but I think it needs to be with some knesses just to make it a little more filling. Nah, nah. Um, so far, no. What else do I eat that is? What else? Is another favorite dish. Τα γεμιστά σου αρέσουν. Α, για γεμιστά. How did I miss that? Τα λατρεύω, παιδιά. Γεμιστά το καλοκαίρι είναι τέλεια. Με φέτα. But here's what I don't understand. Γεμιστά is supposed to have κοιμά in it, right? Ναι. Περίμενε, περίμενε. Wait. The Greeks are divided in this issue. Yeah. Half of them uh, want them without meat. Uh, and we call it orphana. Orphanos is, uh, in, uh, I mean, as a person, is someone who lost his parents. So we call orphana ta gemista. Uh, or the other half wants it with meat. I am in the second category. Παιδιά, ta gemista θέλουν κοιμά. Ξεκολάτε δηλαδή, έλεος. For sure. Like, how are you going to fill up without just rice? And the outside of yeah. pepper or tomato. Um, so that helps me remind, that reminds me of some other dishes. Um, no, maybe it doesn't. Oh, oh, avo lemon. Soup. Hey, avo lemon. Mm-hmm. Avo lemon. Chicken soup. Uh, with the, mm-hmm. But there's, there's various ways to make it. You can make it like a thick, creamy one, or you can make it a watery one. I like both. In the winter, I prefer, I want to say the creamier style. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. where it's like nice, uh, what's the word when I'm trying, when it's thicker, what's the Greek word? Uh, pio pichtos, you can say pichtos. Yeah, I was going to say pichto. I just wasn't sure if that's right, pichto. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like it more pichto in the winter. Uh, and then summer comes around, I'm in Greece, I'm eating my souvlakia, I'm eating all the Greek foods you're going to find in Greece. Mm-hmm. Uh, na pumo ti to avgolemono ine, den ine soupa to avgolemono, ine mia... Parascevi, we say, it's a technique uh, where we mix uh, the egg with lemon yeah. and mm-hmm. slowly, 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 we start adding the hot soup, I mean the main soup. So if we're making yeah. chicken soup, we take the the broth and we add slowly, slowly, because otherwise we will have an omelette and not uh, avo lemono. Right. And when the temperature is the same of the avo lemono and the soup, we mix those two. And... Oh man, it's great. In a tail. I left Avolemo. out probably my favorite Greek plate of all Greek plates. Dosto, besto mas. Here's the problem. Not a lot of Greeks even know this one because it's it's a signature from Kalinos. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, best. So we call them fila, but what they basically are are dolmades with meat. And so it's not just rice inside meat. Uh, they're not rolled rectangularly, they're rolled as balls usually. And oh. they're, they're cooked in a cazzarola full of avgolemono. So they're basically wow. soaked in avgolemono. So the dish, it's not just a side. You make your plate, you just put a bunch of these, you put a nice slab of feta on the side. Wow. And they're just so juicy. Imagine biting into this, which is soaked in avgolemono. Inside you have kima and rice wrapped in a Grape leaf. We, wow! Then take it. It's the product. It's, the, it's what Galenos is known for. If you run into any Kalimi and you say Fila, they know exactly what you're talking about. And even in roads and cars, they'll know. But once you go to Kikladis, Crete, and mainland, they won't, they, they won't know what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, the name is not very clear because Fila is, uh, can be, yeah. I mean, it's a very, Yeah, it's a, it's a very basic term for it. But mm. it makes sense. It's just a small island that can, that just. I think that's fine. Feel, hey, actually feel. That's that's how they talk. <laughs> for, remember when the, on the previous episode I gave you my yeah yeah. I, yeah. Hey, I hey, love hey. I love it. I found my feel. Wait 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 wait. I, I like the role playing. So let's say that I'm your neighbor. Okay, yeah. you are the Kalimian lady because we like always the Kalimian lady. Yes. I open my window. You open yeah. your window too, and yeah. let's go. And let's go. Right. You're inviting me. Yeah. I see. No, I want to act like a, it's the first time I've seen you for the first time too. I don't know who you are. Ah, okay, okay. Because mm-hmm. it, it's even better because they're also known to do this. Ready? I mm-hmm. see you out the window. I give over you like. Yeah. That's the fans. Thanks, 
crazy. Okay, you will get this. You will get this. I, I would like to try for sure with this. No, it's and... one time I was at an, I was at an event in Boston, and not even a Greek event, and it was like a year end uh, party, and everybody part of this group was assigned to bring some sort of food. So I said, "Hey, I I go to my I go home. I was this is a while ago. I go home. I'm like, hey, ma." Can you make a big platter of fila? I got to bring it to this event. So she makes like this big tray. I bring it there and they don't know what this is, but they get, everyone's trying everything. And this guy comes up to me and he goes, instead of talking about something else, he goes, who brought those green things? And I'm like, oh, that was me. He goes, what are they? And he's like, I told him, can you get me the recipe? Those things are incredible. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, he loved them. He loved them. It, it's so. So this is your number one. Let's say, uh, or it's one of your top three dishes, Greek dishes. Yeah, fila and macaron and yamakima. Ah, bye, macaron and yamakima. La this, treva. This, this, this is the macaron and yamakima right here. All the way. That I love. I love. And just to give you, we saw before sichenome. What can we say when we are crazy about something? We can say uh, pesto. Trelenome ya macaronia. Crazy about trelenome ya macaronia. Trelenome uh, it's, macaronia. It's really interesting and mentioning this fila. Uh, guys, in Greece, every almost every place, every region has some special foods uh, related to special products. And even small places like Kalimnos have their own uh, tradition in this, uh, in, the, uh, in the food in general. Mm-hmm. This is, for, for example, you can eat different dishes from Thrace to Crete, from uh, Thessaly to the Aegean, from um, Ionian Islands to uh, Dodecanisa. It is crazy. Cyprus, a, a different story, great food, and many, many different uh, varieties of wine and food to try. This is unique, I think. That is why Greece is, has this reputation. And uh, let's start from, let's finish from where we started. Um, Greece is so famous for the food and of course to the people, guy. Before, b- before you saw the Kalimna lady welcoming um, a stranger in her house. <laughs> uh, this is not the exception, guys. Tony, do you agree, Symphonist? This I, is something no, that I, is happening it's, everywhere. It's not the exception, it's everywhere. I mean, the hospitality in Greece is second to none. It's, it's amazing. And I mean, come on, such a good food needs company, good company to be exactly. even better. If I had fila, I don't want to eat them alone. You know what I mean? Or or you do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here's one other thing to know about fila. That was a confession. So there's actually one more key aspect if you decide to start cooking Kalimian fila. They're incredible. You're going to cook them, you're going to eat them, you're going to love them. Here's the best thing. When you put the rest of the cazzarola in the fridge, there's a secret. Day two, they're actually better. Really? They're better. on th- Even though day ones are awesome, day two turns it up a notch. It, they're even better on the second day. Once you go three, four days, you start feeling, you start tasting that they're getting old. Day one, amazing. Day two is incredible. Wow. And mm-hmm. you eat the, the dish hot, right? Not cold. I eat it hot. Um, sometimes... So you, re- uh, you reheat it on day here's two. Here's the thing. I eat it hot on day one. On day two, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> depends how lazy I am and how hungry I am. Because <laughs> they're actually not bad cold out of the fridge either. As long as you don't have the, your fridge on like freezing cold, if they're just at like, cool temperature cold, they're actually they're edible. But, yeah, you do want to heat them up. You do want to heat them up. Mm-hmm. But if you do eat them cold on day two, they're still pretty good. Uh, okay, because, you know, I think that uh, Avgolemono, you cannot reheat recipes with Avgolemono. Do you know this? I don't know that. Yeah, it's not good to reheat it because... Then that's probably we... why I eat them cold. That's probably why I eat them cold. <laughs> You know something and you don't say, you don't tell us. 
No, no, I just, I, I didn't do it in by detention, intentional. I think I just wasn't supposed to do that, so it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, you know, with, with some foods, reheating is a very bad idea. Yeah, of course. Of course. Especially uh, if you're using microwaves and stuff, because you're, you're just yeah. killing the nutrients. From my experience, I can say that pasticcio is a category that you can reheat it, you, you can put it in the freezer and take it out one month later and it's yeah. yummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you can't do this with everything. Yeah, you can. Like macaroni anyway. and macaroni is never the same on the second reheat, mm -hmm. in my opinion. It's still okay, but there's nothing like day one's macaroni and macaroni. Mm -hmm. Uh, it works very very well with pies, also me pites. But when his pites the gatap six six and now this not this is done is meta. Don't try this with gyros, guys. Never don't take gyros and try to I don't know try to, to do this. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me recap what we saw today. Uh, now that we are closing to the end of the second episode. So, when we, uh, when we love something, when we love a food... So, f no, let's start with I'm hungry. How do we say I'm hungry in Greek? Be now. Okay. The stereotypical phrase is when you, when you were returning from school as children, you say, Mama, be now. This is that. Exactly. Yes. The, the phrase. Uh, be now. Okay. When you eat something and you don't like it, as... Tony doesn't like Magiritsa, he hates Magiritsa. Sichenome. Yeah, Sichenome ti Magiritsa. And on the other side, if Tony eats Fila, he says. Trelenome. Trelenome, ya Fila. I'm crazy about Trelenome. Okay, guys, that was the uh, episode for today. Hope you like it as much as we do. Please uh, drop a comment if you see this episode on uh, the social media platforms, or you can even comment in the podcast uh, platforms as well. We love to hear how do you find these episodes. If you want some other topics, today we talked about food. Um, what are some topics that you are interesting to to share? Awesome. Yeah, let's hear them. Let us know in the comments so we can get into the stuff. Another fun episode talking about uh, Lent, talking about food, talking about hunger. Piname. I think by now the both of us piname. Piname panda. Guys, in Greece people is every every time, we're all the time hungry. Piname. Yes. Well, <laughs> make sure you guys are following this show. It's got its own dedicated Instagram page at Growing Up Greek Podcast. We're also video editions on YouTube. So if you're listening somewhere other than YouTube, you can watch us um, at YouTube slash, I believe it's there, it's just Growing Up Greek. Um, we have episode mm -hmm. one already up there. Check out episode, you can tune into this one. And if you're listening on just audio, head over to YouTube. Um, and then how else can we find each other? You wanna, you can find, um, I can find you at Glossonauts. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And you can find and... me and I in Greece. Tell them a little bit about Glossonauts for those that tuned in without knowing about Glossonauts. Okay, Glossonauts is uh, a community. First of all, we are teaching Greek and in a different way, in an engaging way, in a fun way. Either you're, you're an adult or a children uh, or a child, you can start learning Greek um, with our with the Glossonauts way. Uh, I think you can find us in social media if you write Glossonaut everywhere. You can find us. Amazing. And thanks for watching. And stay hungry. Stay Minute hungry, folks. Many. And we'll talk to you again on the next episode of Growing Up. Greek. Greek. Yep. Bye bye. Bye guys. Aleme. <laughs>